You know, home all the way is home, but if you stayed at home, you get killed, so. Mohammed is one of the many Muslims who have fled sectarian violence in Iraq. After a dangerous journey, he arrived in Stockholm in November, where he turned to the church for help. In a main train station, there's volunteers like everywhere. They will like help you out. If you don't have a place to sleep, you know, they will ask you like, what do you want to go, to the church or to the mosque? So they asked me and I like choose the church. came here to Katarina Church, the people like, oh my God, they were like super nice. That was like the first time that I can feel that I'm a real human. That you know how people are treating me. So it was a really, really good feeling. In the beginning, I also heard from some of the theologians and they said, you, you should be scared, they are Sunni Muslims, they have, you, you, they are, they are very orthodox, they are very reactionary. But um, as, as time has passed by, as I said that no one has been able to say anything. We're going to the mosque that is just very close to the church where I work. For Ole Carlson, the vicar of Katharina Church in Stockholm, the short walk to the mosque has also been a journey across a religious divide. Now Muslims and Christians are working together to tackle prejudice against refugees while giving them a roof over their heads. The church is starting a unique collaboration with the mosque to provide asylum accommodation for refugees in Sweden. Tjena. Hej, välkommen. Tack Abdallah, hur frisk? Du har tofflor på det. Ja, men här när man är längre här, ja. men det är kallt. Men får du ha det där, du får inte ha det inne, nej. nej. Bra. Så. Och jag får inte ha strumpor i kyrkan. <laughs> från den muslimska, teologiska och från den kristna tror jag att vi har väldigt, väldigt mycket gemensamt. Det är klart, absolut. Men vad jag kände i de sista 30 år här i Sverige, att vi, vi bara pratar om vad är islam, vad är kristendom. Mer teori om man säger så. Mm. Jag tror man har inte vågat att göra någonting konkret alltså, som vi har gjort nu. Nej. Joint work between the church and the mosque began in September after the vicar went to Greece where he saw for himself the desperate situation. Back in Stockholm he contacted the mosque which said it could no longer cope with the numbers of people needing a bed. So the church opened its doors and hundreds of volunteers stepped forward to help. Following on from this response to an emergency situation, the church and the mosque are now going into business together to provide refugee accommodation for the longer term a project they hope could set an example for interfaith cooperation across the world. Nej, jag tycker att det blir en fantastisk plattform, ett fantastiskt projekt och jag hoppas att vi kan exportera den här till andra länder. Det är fantastiskt alltså. Det är... Och visa att vi, vi måste bo tillsammans här i, i samma land, i, i samma kontinent och det är därför vi behöver hitta samarbetsmöjligheter och metoder och, och det går att hitta den om man bara sitter och diskuterar. Mm. The mosque cooperating with a church and helping people and getting together, that's what everybody should do. It doesn't matter like a Muslim or Christian, we're all humans. We all got to help each other. Mm -hmm. That's good.